Hey everyone, I'm the Tom. Welcome to my gaming channel. And today, I'm I'm already playing my second recorded episode of Dead Island Epidemic because I forgot to unmute my mic on the first one, so I have to do this again. Anyway, uh, you didn't really well. Actually, you did miss out on an episode. It it wasn't really that bad. It especially uh, in the end there were three more looters coming to our base, which is awesome. We're gonna give. We're gonna go for Charlie, and we're gonna give her the hot jazz weapon, because I think it it's best with her. Uh, but also on the other recorded episode, I had some pretty um, some pretty severe frame drops on the massive zombie fight, and I don't think you guys would like to see that. So I'm hoping it won't be the case this time. If we can actually find a match. Now I did play. I, I am level 82 because I played a little bit off camera. Some some gamers with a a Steam friend of mine who who is like in game level 302 or 303, <laughs> but it's kind of it it might be a little bit disappointing to her that she that she doesn't gain any additional benefit f from that because I'm level 82 and uh, the maximum weapon tier is only 16 and I can already make that like I'm I my workbench is high level enough that I can craft whatever w weapon I want and she's like 220 levels above above me and she doesn't get access to even better weapons and you know Whatever, we found a match, so let's accept it. And we're in. This guy has 1650 uh, health, so he's not... He doesn't have tier 16 weapons. She has though, and so does he. So we should be fine overall. It should be a good game, even if we don't manage to get three gold stars, it should... Oh yeah, I, know this place. I think... We're gonna be okay. It's not that big of a deal if one doesn't have two le two level sixteen weapons. Already, my frames are dropping a little bit. Or was it? Yeah. From time to time, they're just dropping. Charlie does a good amount of damage with ranged weapons. I appreciate that. Looks promising. Now the barricade mission is pretty easy. On any other mission, like named zombies or gathering supply points, it is probably better to level up before the mission until your team reaches uh, level 5. So that you can have your ultimate ready uh, for the mission, which makes things a lot easier. But on this mission, the uh, mission, the barricade one, it's honestly easy enough, I would say, because yeah, look at that, we're halfway done, and actually we only have 30 seconds left, so we should focus on this thing a little bit more. Rather than on, rather than on the zombies. There we go. But we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Hopefully, please. Don't tell me we're gonna fail this by like two seconds or so. We did. I'm gonna get the F out of here. And that is exactly why you should focus on the barricades, like focus on what your mission is and not on killing as many zombies as possible. Oh, oh okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here for real now. 
The runners are too fast. Oh my... Like how fast are they? <laughs> I hate them. I hate runners coming from behind. Whatever, we did achieve the, uh, the Silver Star at least. I hit level 5, which is very important for the next mission because um, the crab cage, or you know, Mr. Krabs, as I like to call it, does a really, really good amount of damage. The big bastard that literally ate one of the trucks is close. You kill it. Yeah, now the runners aren't a problem because I'm not full of supplies and I'm full on health. Get level 10. go so we're at number seven right now Three ninety five crits. I'm critting so much. I love it. Level eight. That was a tank. So is this one. Uh, two thirds of the way done to level 9. And then we only have one more level to reach. Oh, before we start this mission at least. There's where we almost uh, got the gold, st gold star for the barricade mission. There's the house. I'm level 10.
447 crit. That feels good. I can tell you so much. Okay. Now we're gonna move on. So that's gonna be a mission of named zombies. Good thing we have a fuse with us. Holy cow. How did that just lose so, so much HP? Okay, I know now. It's Truck Calloway. Like, what am I supposed to do about that when I even don't, when I don't even see the shot? At least I'm not lagging this time. Yet. <laughs> we got almost a minute left to kill the Truck Calloway, and only well, two of us are still alive. I'm gonna throw crab cage down in a second. Is he luring the... yeah, he was probably trying to lure it to the base. not gonna get gold on this mission so much is for sure oh god look at that look at how much damage it it does and look at how much it slows me down like <laughs> I've returned Okay, at least server again. That's fine. That's totally fine. Oh, heavy. Heavy duty. <laughs> All right. Number thirteen. Spitters are extremely annoying. Spinners are probably the type of zombie I've died most to. I've died to the most, I should say. Um, because, you know, when you're low on health, you're running away, and then you try to retaliate by throwing a skill back, there's always one spitter that hits you and you're dead. It's just the way it goes in the epidemic. Okay, so now I'm full, so that means 100 supplies to deliver, and that means 100 more experience for me. Not gonna reach level 14 with it, with them though, uh, with them though, but um, I'm gonna be pretty close. 55 experience left, that's okay. We should be able to fight whoever our last boss is. But it would be beneficial if we got to level 15 first. It would probably mean that we can have a good shot at getting gold if we play right. I'm 
Let's go this walker. That didn't give me the level up, but the experience reach from that kill did. Uh, well. Let's go ahead and kill some more zombies here. Oh yeah. This is the spot. Wait for them here. I just crit three times in a row. I'm gonna use my ultimate right now. This thing's still not dead. It became a, a little butcher because nobody else focused on it. Am the only one left alive? No, I'm not. It just looked like it for a second. I'm gonna drop my crab cage in here now. Because I'm level 15, it's gonna do... Holy crap. That butcher just did so much damage. Good job. I'm gonna need to use a bandage right here. Or, you know, a, a healing patch. Please kill it. Oh, come on. I'm controlled now. And I'm dead. Nobody's fo focusing on those zombies that Migova spawns and then turn into elite butchers. I mean, if I don't have enough damage myself, that's for, for one, it's disappointing and sad, but. Uh, yeah, people should really focus on those zombies too. Oh, really, come on, everything is full of blood. How am I even supposed to deal with that shit? Well, now it's dissipating. Yeah, and that splitting attack is nasty. Yeah, I'm dead, but, you know... I can survive on my own if I don't even even have my healing patch ready. With that, I would have survived this attack, but uh, I don't know how much longer I would have survived. Yeah, sure. gonna run away so that spinning attack so that bouncing attack can uh, get to me Mission complete. Very good. okay we got it that is another solo star that's can't be I mean I can't be mad three silver stars is pretty good it's not perfect obviously but it could be worse Definitely have had worse uh, games than this, even on camera. But for now, I'm I'm content with the result. 
And uh, yeah, all we need to do now is bring those supplies back to the truck. And for me, it shouldn't be that difficult difficult because I have that haste from my R. It speeds me up quite a lot. Uh, Mutated Bryce does not have anything like it. Or a dash or anything like that. But uh, yeah. I'm gonna get back here just fine. Hopefully there's gonna be one or two more looters. <laughs> what did I just say? There we go. There's another one. If we can get one more, then this is actually an extremely strong run. Well, not extremely strong, but fairly decent. There's a elite butcher. Doesn't seem like we were gonna have another looter, but that's fine. 640 is nothing to sneeze at. And yeah, it, it was a pretty good game. Today was Not a ideal, good day. but good. Can't be perfect every time. So let's skip and see what our rewards are gonna be. Alrighty. 204 reward value. Next reward is going to be meat lumps. We got uh, Splendor. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's not very that good, but. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Also, consider subscribing if you want to see more content in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.